はーい<笑> What do you think about this filter, by the way? This is a vintage shimmer. <笑>、uh, still trying to get used to it. Hello! I hope you guys are doing amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing amazing wherever you are. So, today we are. Thank you so much for tuning in, though. Thank you. And yeah, I hope you're doing amazing. And today we're gonna talk about self love.、Mm-hmm. I feel like some of you have rolled your eyes at me. Some of you are like, oh, I wanna skip. Please don't skip. Please continue watching. You might think that you don't need it. You might think that you have mastered it. But I would like to say something. Everyone, everyone needs self love. And it is a work in progress journey for everyone. It is a journey that you're forever learning, forever growing, forever discovering. So, yes, you need self love. And you know the saying it goes before you love somebody else, you gotta love yourself first. And I cannot agree more with that because I do see that a lot of people they seek externally for love instead of connect within. So that is why a lot of people they jump from one relationship to the next. Or maybe you are in a relationship and you are too afraid to love yourself and you think that you're not worthy of loving. So you're like,、oh, you know what? I'll just stay in this relationship. Or maybe you're just too afraid to be alone because you haven't really d i g deep and connect with yourself. What is it? Share them with me. You know, some people they might think that self love is. Getting a manicure, getting a pedicure, go get, go get a massage, maybe buy some clothing for yourself. All of that is all external stuff. How is that really self love? That's all temporary. It doesn't really heal you, does it? It's only temporarily okay. It's like putting a band aid, con- continue on putting a band aid over the, those wounds. And you can't heal, okay? So, everyone needs self love. Maybe you are in uni and maybe you are still in school, and then you compare yourself to your classmates, which is completely normal. But if you had started your self love journey, you would have been like, okay, they are on their journey, I'm on mine. We are all on this planet with different journeys. Okay, but then if you haven't started and if you think that you don't need self love, you will be like, that person has better f- physiques than I do, or that person has better grades, that person has a better upbringing, or whatever it is than you do. And, and then you forget to look at yourself, or maybe you are someone's sibling, and you know your parents might have said something. Accidentally, and it made you think that, oh, I'm not good enough, I'm not better than the other sibling, or like that sibling g e t treated better than I do, or whatever. Feel self pity in- instead of having self love. Is that you? Or maybe you are a parent. And in all honesty, I feel like a lot of mothers get this a lot. I, I hear this a lot of times.、Um, Because it is a natural instinct for mothers to love their kid. And it is a dad too. So if you're a parent and you give your kids so much love, the love that you know how, the way that you know how, but then your kid just d o n t reciprocate and you actually end up hurting yourself because you haven't given yourself enough love. What is it? And share with me what do you think self love is? I just want to tell you that the self love journey does take work, does take time, and yeah, you do need it though. And but then, if you are watching this and then you're like,、oh, you know what, just from what you have said, I am not interested, okay, well, by all means, that's your choice. I respect that. 
so you don't even need to watch this but if today you have decided that you know what i don't want to feel that much pain anymore you know what i want to learn how to navigate all these feelings i want to truly learn how to love myself and love others and accept the love and feel less painful whenever other people don't give me the love if that's you then thank you honestly thank you so much for continue watching thank you for choosing me to be part of yourself journey and thank you for being brave thank you you're amazing so this is an exercise that i would like you to do um so this exercise i would say it would take up maybe an hour or two of your day it does take time it does take work um and i need you when you want to do this exercise that i'm going to give you i would like you to be in a calm and quiet state and i need you to have eaten something before you have done this because when you are hungry the term hangry is real okay so you don't want your emotions to drive you so you want to make sure that you are in a calm and quiet and not fully full but just eaten okay just not hungry so this is the exercise that i would like you to start with your self-love journey and so like i said it would take out maybe an hour or two so and i would like you to set a 30 minutes timer and the this 30 minutes or before you set a timer i would love you to grab maybe line paper or a full blank papers or maybe your journal and then you set a 30 minutes timer so within this 30 minutes what i would like you to do is start with the title said the things that I'm proud of about myself. Mm -hmm, that's right. So everything you write down, every big and little things. Okay, maybe you are a mother, write down, I have given birth. Of course you need to be proud of it, even if you have done um, cesarean. That's how you say it, right? <laughs> um, you need to be proud of it because you have you know how them bear, bear someone a live living thing in you for nine months and you have given birth of course you need to be proud of yourself or maybe you can think back to as early as you can maybe when you were in like grade one and then you then your classmate then a pen uh, a pencil because that classmate didn't have it well then you need to be proud of yourself of that little act too because you were supportive you were kind yeah so you need to write down everything that you are proud of you're proud of waking up every day for yourself hey ya um and or well, you're proud of yourself for exercising <laughs> So I want you to spend 30 minutes to write down everything that you're proud of. Um, if you spend more than 30 minutes, amazing. But you need to spend equal amount of time in the second part of exercise. Now, if you want to type it out because it's faster to write down all the things that you're proud of, go ahead and do that. But at the end of the day, I still want you to write it down now that is the first part of the exercise the second part of the exercise will be a little easier so now that by the way you need to take break in between these two exercises because when you have um, written down the things that you have you are proud of you will be using a lot of your brain cells and i know you will be tired so after you have done the first part of the exercise please have some water and make sure that you are not hungry Okay, so then the second part of the exercise will be easier, yes. Uh, so this is what you need to do. You will need to write a letter to your future self. Yeah! What you can do is, because you have already written down all the things that you're proud of, and then now I would like you to read them. 
and after you have read them, <laughs>、um, you will be in an encouraging and inspiring, in a blissful state, in a happy state, and that is where, hey girl, that is where you can start、um, writing a letter to your future self. So. I can tell you what I do. You can do,、um, dear self, to end date today's date, and go like, now I'm feeling X Y Z. After you have written the list of the things that you're proud of, you will be feeling amazing and inspired and accomplished or whatever. But you can do like, dear self, now I'm feeling whatever, and I want you to tell yourself that. Hey, don't forget that you are amazing. Don't forget that you have accomplished this. Don't forget that you can do whatever. Don't forget that you are encouraging, you're loving, you are inspiring, you are all these amazing things. And yes, if you want to use your laptop and type it out because it's faster, sure, go ahead and do it. But again, I would like you to. Write it down at the end of the day. Now let me explain to you why I insist you to write it down. So, did you know that writing things down, like scripting, actually has healing powers? So it can heal your griefs, it can heal your wounds, it can help you clear things out, <clears throat> and it can help you strengthen your imagination. Yeah, and when you can visualize and vi- imagine things,、um, it is actually the ability to feel joy and to feel hope. And the more you feel hope and joy, the more gratitude you would have, which means the more joyful life that you would have, which means you'll receive more amazingness.、Um, and also. When you write things down, it will reduce your stress level because you are having clarity. Not everything is in your head. Everything is like written out on paper. You can actually、um, see it. They don't just, you know, live in here and boggle your mind. No, you have written it down so you can reduce your stress. And you know what? When you're stressed, your brain cannot release. Dopamine and dopamine is a chemical that makes you feel great. So obviously, when you're stressed, you just don't feel great. That's why I insist you to write things down. Okay, so I would really, really, really encourage you to start your self love journey today, because you need it. Everyone needs it, and that's the exercise that I would like you to do, which is thirty minutes. To write down all the things that you're proud of about yourself, and then spend another thirty minutes to write a letter to your future self. Now, the reason why I want you to write a letter to your future self is because when you are feeling negative, or when you are feeling like you're not worthy, or you're so lonely when you're lost and everything, take out that letter, take it out. And then you read it to yourself, and then you will remind yourself that, oh, okay, you know what? I'm amazing. We all gotta, you know, do something to help ourselves to be reminded, okay? And again, you need to be in a calm, quiet, and a not too full state. But remember, you have to eat before that.、Um, yeah, and that is the exercise that I would love you to do. Um, please share your journey with me, and please join the private Facebook group so you can ask me any questions there. So you can、um, share whatever you're going through there.、Um, and again, like every day, we share different things. Mondays is Mindfulness Monday, Truthful Tuesday, Welcome Wednesday, Transformation Thursday, Food for Thoughts Friday, Socializing. Saturday and self story Sundays. Okay, so please come and join us. That is where you can find your supportive group. That is where you can be you.、Um, yeah, and I can't wait to see you there. See ya.